I am telling you, my friends, this video you can't miss. Chapter 3 of the Chess Super Challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm chess grandmaster and welcome to the part three of the chess super challenge. In the last two videos, I managed to beat the computers rated 400 and 800 while playing blindfolded. Now I'm stepping up the difficulty again by playing against a chess com computer rated 1200. Just like before, I will not be able to see the pieces, but you can watch all the moves on the board in the top right corner. Can I handle this new challenge? Let's find out. So, as you can see, I'm here in Chesscom against Coach Dante from Canada with 1200 rating. So, I will do settings. I will put here, um, let's do it the pieces blindfold and save and now all the pieces disappear let's play okay i'm playing let's play the move e4 knight a6 oh coach dante d4 e6 okay let's develop pieces knight f3 c6 okay I really want to play d5 because I don't want him to, to play d5. Let's play d5 in the center. And I don't know, maybe c4. You know what? Maybe c4. I will play c4. To bring also the knight to c3. Okay, bishop b4 check, knight c3. Let's see. Bishop takes, b takes. Thank you very much for the two bishops. Now rook b8 was played. Wow. So as I think, yeah, knight f6 he didn't play until now. Let's play the move bishop d3 or e5. Also e5, it looks strong. Let me think. You know what? e5? Yeah, let's play e5. d5, okay. Interesting move by my opponent. I will take it probably. He takes d6, unpassant. Queen takes, yeah, bishop d3 now. Developing this bishop. Knight f6, castle. This is the time to castle h6 now i think let's play the move knight e5 to bring bishop to f4 knight e5 i like it castle now bishop f4 and as you can see there is queen here and also rook here so it's not so easy for him queen e7 was played okay now let's bring the rook to b1 another developing a rook and now rook d8 was played i think that i have interesting tactic here knight takes c6 b takes and now bishop takes b8 knight takes and now rook takes b8 king h8 so now i have a exchange up right and i need to bring the queen and the rook to the game yeah it's not so easy for me but let's do it queen f3 i think let's play this one he played queen is queen f8 okay Mm -hmm. Let's fr bring the rook to b1. Bishop d7. Let's play queen f4. Rook takes, rook takes. Bishop c8 now, queen c7. Queen g8, rook c8. Great. I'm winning it. I'm winning it. You can see it. I think I'm winning it. Thank you. Now, thank you for the queen. I'm taking the pawn. I'm playing bishop takes f5. Bishop g6. And queen f7. Checkmate on the board. I beat coach Dante from Canada with 1200 rating. Blindfolded. Can you believe it? Come on, let's do it. So, now let's do uh, the game review analysis. Let's do analysis. And let's understand, let's bring back the pieces. Uh, how can I do it? Let me, okay, this one, I'm doing it. Everything will be fun, great. So we can see now the pieces. E4, knight a6, very um, bad move, of course. You know, 
this is not an opening d4 e6 knight f3 c6 now i play the move c4 uh, you know as you can see i'm just controlling all the center with the pawns and also providing the option to play knight c3 bishop b4 knight c3 takes takes rook b8 yeah very bad position as you can see the square is here very bad also i thought yeah bishop b4 maybe was interesting move but i played the move e5 the point here was also to bring the bishop to d3 and this diagonal will be open and also you know some uh, squares here for, for white so d5 was played e takes queen takes and i just bishop d3 bring the bishop into the game knight f6 castle of course now knight e5 another very strong move i think because i really want to bring the bishop to f4 with this diagonal so it's not so easy for him he he, he played the move a castle bishop f4 now knight g6 is the threat right um queen e7 now rook b1 another developing move and as you can see knight c6 is the threat because after knight c6 i'm attacking the queen and the rook right and after b takes i will take the uh, rook with a bishop so this was the game rook d8 just take it bishop takes b8 takes exchange and one pawn up king h8 queen f3 uh, now i'm attacking this pawn on c6 queen f8 i'm bringing the rook to b1 we are playing with all our pieces don't forget it bishop d7 now queen f4 takes takes bishop c8 i think yeah better was to play knight d8 but of course this position is totally winning here queen c7 just right after knight takes rook takes f8 uh, checkmate on the board so bishop c8 just queen c7 take this bishop take this knight and of course this position until the checkmate will come queen f7 checkmate on the board ladies and gentlemen i really really hope you learn something from this video you like it and uh, don't forget to smash that like button subscribe my channel for more chess content every single day i'm uploading chess content that can develop your chess skills and improve your knowledge right so see you soon in chapter number four against 1600 let's see bye bye